Hello, this is Alexander Hallegan. Today I want to talk about this Michimeter, but not exactly this one, rather this one, which, which I received uh, this morning. And you will tell, you will tell what is the difference between this one and this one. This one is the new Anang 8002 and uh, it has exactly the same feature than this one but better than this one. I'm going to show you uh, how it's possible. Actually the packaging is very nice but uh, it was a time where this item was delivered uh, in a little bag I think. I don't know exactly if there is a bag inside but uh, let's open it for the moment. Uh, there is no uh, s spot on this to figure what there is exactly inside. Okay. So this is uh, here the thermocouple. As usual, this is a chip K. Very nice uh, cords. Uh, they are not in silicon, but they perfectly do the job. And uh, the new Anang 8002. I said new because this uh, version was um, remasterized, I think. Like uh, we talk about a movie, but this one is a bl black version, and you can see this is also the Anang. AN 8002 and this one has um, some little few different features which I'm going to show you now. Okay, this one is quite old now and uh, you probably know it because I made some uh, modification on it. I put a fuse detector, fuse dead, dead fuse detector and um, a fuse, a quick fuse for the milliamp section and uh, I use it a lot and uh, it's uh, still perfectly working actually and uh, I usually work with it and uh, it's 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 uh, now uh, I have it some some few years and uh, I'm very happy with it uh, uh, just uh, let me show you I'm just going to to make a measurement here yeah. you can see about the main coming from here on my, on my desk it's uh, perfectly working and uh, it's uh, still nice and uh, as you can see it's perfect but this one which has not battery inside I guess I'm going to open it Okay, now it remains to test it and see how it reacts according to my uh, uh, expectation and um, what there is inside better than this one. The main difference between the old and the new version is uh, that uh, that input here is said to have not uh, fuse because they replace the classical fuse by a resistible one which is uh, I think a uh, uh, pulley switch. So uh, on, the old, on the older version you can see I put uh, a quick uh, replaceable fuse and uh, they are exactly the same just some little detail and I'm going to show you now. So this one has a little um, special part uh, on the side which permits to test the the multimeter when you have a doubt on it. If you have a doubt on your multimeter you just have to put your probe like this and you have a voltage indicated and this proof to you that your multimeter work nice. And if you want to measure a current, you do the same thing. You have something like 3 milliamp 
tuning amp near from uh, 3 milliamp on this uh, device and it indicates to you then the, uh, the multimeter reacts correctly. So, so now let's use the same uh, test lead here and see how fast it reacts. See voltage, the voltage is instantaneous. You have not to wait. And if you measure a continuity test, look look how fast it is. It's very fast according to the hold model. Okay, here let's uh, make uh, um, the 9 volt uh, battery test and see how much a quick is the hold version and see and and see the new one and see the new one instantaneous the voltage reading are instantaneous okay let's compare now uh, continuity tests and make the beep and see the new version and see the whole version not not bad but the sound coming from this one is better than this one okay uh, now let's see the milliamp version the milliamp uh, channel and you see <coughs> Those display are a little bit different and see how much they illuminate. Okay. Not exactly the same color, but anyway. And see, let's see the current about the current, how much they give. Uh, now we have four milliamp on the same. Uh, on this on the display because they are in serial mode and if we see for eight this one is a little bit off not perfect okay I guess a better result from this one I don't know exactly why uh, this one is quite nice but this one has a little bit an offset here with I think it's it's possible to change some component on it too, but uh, I think this is not linear. It's not linear, so maybe it's uh, it's not so easy to to calibrate this one. For eight, you have eight point two and zero two, and four here. For sixty, you will have sixty. 06 which is not so significant actually but okay uh, for the moment this one is better than this one in terms of uh, in terms of current measurement okay let's make some uh, voltage measurement for 2.5 for 5 volt Seven and a half, nine volt, nine, nine and nine, and you have ten volt here. So you can see this one is very quick uh, in term of uh, voltage reading. This one is very quick. 
Okay. Now let's see um, how how fast it is to read this uh, resistor on this one and on this one. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. I start from one. One, two, three. Okay. And see, and see this one for the resistance test. One, two. Okay. You can see it's um, more faster. Okay. One, two. Okay, it's very quick. So, uh, as you can see, uh, this one has some uh, more speed than this one. And, uh, okay, why not? And I will show you the voltage coming from the diode here. Can you believe it? This one use only 3 volt cell batteries and it gives 4 volt output. And if you make the tests of the threshold, you can see from how much voltage it's able to read your your diode. No, it's a battery. Okay, it's able to read until two three point two point three. Okay, we are about three point three. Okay, three point three volt on this one, which on this one is just about three volts. So this multimeter is uh, very amazing for the price, I guess, for twenty bucks. So now. Let's compare it with with a big boy, okay? Okay, here we have those those both multimeter uh, with uh, the fluke, which is uh, an industrial one, and you will see now the two point five. Okay, this one is quite perfect. This one all all for me except this one which is a little bit off. Five volt, a little bit over the good value. Uh, this one and this those one this one and this one is quite nice. About seven and a half. Okay, this one is perfect. But a little rip for this one. And about ten volt, nine and nine, ten. 0 1 and 10 exactly so well, okay so uh, because this one has not a fuse inside I'm just uh, going to open it and see what they they put to replace uh, the classical fuse Okay, what is this? It looks more simple than usually one. Um, okay. Uh, I don't know exactly what is this. Maybe it's a PTC, but uh, I, I heard about that there is a police switch, but I don't exactly know. Okay, okay, we just uh, some varnish on it, and uh, okay, it always has uh, a fuse, but six milliamp, six hundred milliamp fuse on it. Okay, and this is the fuse section for for the for the temp for the ten uh, section. 
and I guess this one is a protection but I don't know exactly the purpose of this one maybe it's uh, the police switch itself but it, it's look absolutely not like a police switch it's just like, uh, it's look like uh, a PTC so this is a mystery because uh, I know about them then they have a police switch somewhere and uh, I don't know where is the police switch okay maybe it was a uh, false advertising I guess okay that's good for me I will uh, make um, a classical hues on the outside uh, like uh, I do for the rest and uh, it, will be, it, it will be fine for me okay it was Alexander again see you soon